it uh, doesn't damage the the uh, soil at all it uh, loosens it um, you're not losing ground cover uh, you're not digging up bare dirt like if you, if you plowed it so um, any moisture that you do get because you still got the the grass coverage you're not losing any moisture through evaporation and it doesn't take long you, you, you only get one little slot in the ground it the, the tine twists it and it, it loosens the soil and it, it doesn't take long for the grass just to fill that little slot when you you're ripping it to loosen it you, you you're running the chance of tunnel erosion um, and you, you're getting these rip lines all the way through the paddy with the aerator all you're getting is these little slots every oh, you know, 9 12 inches apart sort of thing um, you know, I've heard guys whinge about it because they're not getting the runoff into the dams because the, the water is going into the soil where it's doing most of the, the good for the you know the grass and yeah stocking rates well um, I reckon I've doubled the stocking rate here um, you know a couple of years after it's all been done I think you can sort of see a bit of a difference between next door and uh, my fence it, it's actually a bugger of a fence it don't let the grass grow through it so you know I'm quite happy with that but uh, it's well and truly worked for me and uh, you don't get the runoff the water's getting in you're getting the fertilizer down deeper it's loosening up your, your, your plant roots are, have got a chance to sort of spread out they're not going through you know compacted ground so yeah yeah no really good thing